Welcome back to the vlog everybody. We're back at the shop after an insane chaos filled couple weeks up at Ebisu Circuit with all the homies and whatnot. But there's one thing that I've been dying to do this entire time that's been on my mind and that is get everything finished on the Bogan 32 so that that thing can rip. We want it manual swap, we want it on a Link ECU, we want it tuned and we want it making power and we want to go take it drifting and get it shredding as soon as possible. So today we're finally going to be manual swapping this with a very special trick. Transmission. Just like how special our sponsor is, Semit.net. Next week on the 12th at 4 p.m. EST, we are dropping our brand new Bogan 32 shirts. These are freaking sick. And there's a ton of detail in the design, which is absolutely amazing. You can see the Bogan 32 there. We've got a typical Aussie Bogan there, the Southern Cross tattooed on him. He's even got Hugo on there. So this is supposed to be me, I guess. <laughs> We've got a bunch of beer cans all around the place. We've got the Australian little kangaroo sign. It's an overall sick design, screen printed by hand. It's awesome and this will be dropping on the website next Friday at 4 p.m. EST. This is not the only new shirt that's coming too. There's some other cool designs coming that you'll see me announcing throughout the week. But I'm gonna throw this on and we're gonna get started on that train swap. First things first, let's get this thing in the air. <laughs> So you guys would have just seen us drop the automatic transmission out. I just finished getting the automatic pilot bush out. And uh, those of you that have done a manual swap, you know the automatic pilot bushes are always a massive pain in the butt. But I always find the fastest and easiest way to get them removed is to just weld a washer in there with a bolt and a nut. And then I just use a massive sliding hammer like this and they come out with a couple slaps. And I just, I, I, in my kit, I always have this like kind of slit grinded into it and it just hooks onto the bolt and the nut and just bam, 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 and out it comes. Oh, we first tried a chain and it didn't work, so that's why I cut the slit in the sliding hammer. But yeah, this, little sketchy. I highly recommend when you weld this, be very careful, put a flywheel bolt in and put your grounding earth strap on the flywheel bolt, because if you just connect it to the engine, then you're grounding through like the bearings in the engine and that's not good. It's probably not great to be welding, honestly, around here, but hey, I got it out, that's all I care about. It's an RB20E, so sketchy Sam is in the house. My hand slipped off the sliding hammer at some point, came in contact with the car, so we got some blood. No, no tears yet, definitely a lot of sweat. There's a rag with that, I don't know if that's allowed to be shown on YouTube, but anyways. Yeah, we got this, we got this thing out. Super simple, just still pretty hot. Welded a washer in there, you can see. Found a washer that fit in there perfectly. Welded her in all around the edges as best I could, upside down. And then, uh, yeah, smack that thing out. And now, as you can see, we got the manual pilot bush in there. Uh, the automatic one takes up all this space here. So it, it's always the hardest one to get out because you can't use generally the bread technique. How the manual one works is there's space in behind there, so as you cram the bread in, it pushes this out, or the newspaper, or if you use one of those tools that goes in there and pulls it out. The automatic ones are like flush, so they're very hard and difficult to get out, so that's why I do it that way. I know some people get in there and like try to cut it with a die grinder and stuff to then get it out, but I've done this before and it just seems to be the quickest, fastest way to get it out. So yeah, we got that out. The next thing is time to get our manual plate, that's super important. You can't use the automatic plate behind the flywheel. But we can't forget this, which is this bad boy here. I got this for a total of like 600 yen, five bucks on, um, on uh, Yahoo Auctions. So win for me. So this, uh, I think goes like that. Right there, perfect. Like that, just like that. Yep, 
can't forget that. And now we can do flywheel and clutch. And of course, the clutch that we're going with is my all time favorite clutch, the ORC Super Single. Best clutches in the game. Okuchan obviously helped me get this. I love these things. They don't blow up transmissions like the twin plates do. <laughs> Uh, not that I didn't think that our transmission will blow up, but we've got a super, sing a super single from ORC. We're going to quickly just zip these off. We're going to put the flywheel on. We've got some flywheel bolts. We're going to lock... Uh, what's the word for that? Loctite. That's it. Loctite those in. Torque them to spec with the flywheel. Put everything together. And we'll have that clutch on there all lined up and ready to go. Pro tip, by the way. I was really concerned that I didn't have the correct tool um, for lining the clutch. Now this is from a six-speed S15 transmission. We just chop this off and we use this as our alignment tool because that transmission was blown up. Um, but the splines are identical and <laughs> this is also identical as the RV25 um, transmission. So that's kind of a plus. But uh, yeah, splines all line up. So we'll be able to use this exact tool to go straight in there and line up our transmission, uh, well clutch, not transmission bolt. We'll line up the clutch so that our transmission will go in easy. So let's do that, we'll be done. I know Dikey's gone, but look who he's got <laughs> as a backup. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> right as the trainee's ready to drop in. Look yeah, let's, we Hulk came, we brought the, brought the big guns in for help. We brought, we brought a bogan for your bogan 32 here. <laughs> it's the mullet. It's literally it's the the mullet. mullet. Look at the guy in the shirt. <laughs> That's me, just missing a VB and I'll be all set. <laughs> All right, what are we doing, Sam? Uh, we're finishing up the ORC clutch and then uh, lining it all up, putting the training in. It's, it's still sick. that it is still an RB. Like it's it's st everything's the same. It's still an RB. Yeah, it just has an ugly head on it. Mm -hmm. Bunch of people and it's a butterface. <laughs> a butterface. Yeah, that's a butter head. That's really good, that's Jimmy. A good one, yeah. Wow, that was one of your best one-liners you've ever had. Huh. How many ugly duggies do you think his flywheel box needs? <laughs> Sam. Three. Uh, four. I say four. Four? four. Oh, that's a lot with that thing. I'm gonna just, you know, work around first and then we'll get there. Actually using a torque wrench on yeah, the Bogan 32, huh? I can't believe you guys made me do this. <laughs> we bullied it. We did bully him into it. Just because it's the Bogan 32, it's not meant to be proper, guys. Yeah, but how much longer did it take to do that? That's true. Instead of having to sit there for 30 minutes anxious that you didn't tighten them enough over time. <laughs> I know. That's, <laughs> you know. That's what I, that's how I look at you're, it. You're trading mental for physical effort. You, know you could, I mean? you could definitely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can definitely like, you could half-ass some if things. If it, it was fine, but like you're sitting there like. But then you hear that one enough? noise when you're on track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it tight enough? Yeah, exactly. Right? When you torque it, you're like, nah, it's, man, that's just how it is. That's just how that's it just is. How it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, transmission about to go in, right, Sam? Training's about to go in. Mm -hmm. Lube her up, Jim. <laughs> too much lube. up my shaft, bro? Sam it. God damn it. Yeah, for him anyway. Right, that's what we say. Damn it, damn it, Sam, Sam it. it. Yeah. It's literally like Oh Sam it. Oh Sam it. <laughs> it's gonna be his new slogan. Oh God. Sam it. I was literally filming a clip today on the way here. I was like, if you guys don't know who Sam it is, well oh, he's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, whoever edits this, we're gonna zoom in on his face right there. But he knows we love him to death. Yeah, so. he knows we love him, but he also don't knows we, we could talk shit about you can't. He is our friend. You can talk yeah, he's our friend. <laughs> he's our friend. We can talk all the shit we want. <laughs> <laughs> so this transmission going in, it's an RB25 one, but it is not just a stock one. It is a Nagano Techno one from down in Osaka. So you got this billet center here. It has straight cut dog gears in there. So oh, every gear. Is it every gear? It's I don't probably, know if it's every gear. It's probably it's, first, second, third or something. It's probably second, third. It's probably second, third. It's probably, no, it's just third and fourth, I thought. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Oscar Chan was just like, hey, have this. And that's what happened. So you'll find out really we'll quick. We'll find out real quick. When it's running and the first gear that goes, <laughs> you're like, oh, that's a dog gear. Oh, that's it's where it is. Yeah. But imagine if you didn't know it was a dog gear, you, you would think, oh, Something's man. broken. Something's yeah, bad. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going in. It's overkill, but I want this thing to live at Ebisu for a long time. And train, like, just drivetrain problems suck. So putting in something. I don't know if you could say overkill for transmission and salmon, so. Not for you, at least, Sam. <sighs> it's not a 9154, so I think we'll be good. <laughs> Ow! Sam oh. it! Damn it! Damn it, Sam it! Oh, you guys love that too much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, let's yeah. get out of the way, Sam. Alright. Okay. Well, he just used to be alone. Yeah. Alright. Alright. I'll guide him. I'm moving this out of the way. I'm moving it out of the way. Yep. 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 Close it. Close Yep. Alright. Get your end up higher so it goes low. Yep. Keep it low. Yep. Go a little higher. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Uh, we gotta go over this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe drop your end a little bit. Yeah. It's a stupid nub for this, story. Right? Yeah. So yeah, there are those. Can we crank it? Use it to just kind of... So that's... That's no, first. I don't know why. Oh, 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 that engine mount was controlled. Oh, yeah. I, 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 got, I got new mounts. <laughs> control nice all deleted. This. Could be that the turbo is actually hitting the strut now that no. it's about it. Oh, so it is? Yeah, the, the inlet on the turbo is resting on the... Yeah, I can loosen the, the inlet and rotate it up. Uh, oh, that's what's going to have to happen. That's yeah. what's going to have to happen. Or I can take this hammer to your transom. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? What? What's wrong? Oh. What? Oh, I forgot you did that. Oh, yeah, I did. I haven't seen that. That's an NVIDIA RTX 42069 in a Skyline. It renders it renders the sickest games. God. Does it work? Damn it, Sam it! It did it idle, and then the moment it got warmed up, couldn't keep up with it. But it looks sick with the RGB. <laughs> That's out the battle. Put the clutch fan in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna put a dick on that for me? No. Oh. Hold on. I love this. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I love that you guys just rocked up and trolled. <laughs> <Trump. laughs> <laughs> right. Got him. All right, try number sixteen. We have to rotate. This is okay. Good. That's fucking heavy. Yeah. All right. So pick your end up. Yep. Over. Yep. Can you pick it up more? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Sam. Alright, okay. lower it. Yep. Right. Oh, hold on, where are we rotating? Right there. We're good. Start wiggling. Go. There we go. In, in, in. Now yeah, yeah. she's in. Any bolts? Isn't that amazing when you got some friends? Oh, uh, right there. Transmission is in. Kind of. It's right. stabbed. We need, just need to bolt it up now. Yeah. Excuse me, don't worry about it. It's fine. Four volts is plenty. Yeah. I was gonna say three is enough, but... Whatever, dude. We go back to America in a day. Looks good for my house. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's there official. Go. Official, manual swap. Hey, she's got a big block. Big You're not... Block. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be putting such nice parts on this car, dude. Yeah, I know, but it's just what I had laying around. <laughs> brand new mount right there. Dude, uh, this wasn't supposed to be brand new. That's why I was like shocked by it. It's cool though. I love how Nissan just has like three or four different iterations of that. Yeah, all the autos, all the manuals, every single trans. Mm -hmm. It's just a variation of... Yeah, for anyone wanting to do the 25 swap on a 32, you need the A variant. No, it's a C. Is it? Yeah. See, it's yeah. a C. It's stamp C. Oh yeah, the C. Sorry, I was looking at the uh, member A assembly there. My bad, you're right, it's a C. C for, um... Oh yeah! She's a good c Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Japan, alright? We're, We're in Japan. Japan. We're in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very nice to have the boys stop by and help me get the transmission in. I uh, went to UpGarage with them and showed them around the local area. But I have some updates on the manual swap. And I am so excited we got this thing in here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and of course, reverse. Um, I'm not sure what gears in this transmission are dog uh, gears, straight cut um, ones, but uh, we'll figure that out, obviously, once the car's running. I could probably just call Okachan and ask him, he'll know, but I'm assuming it's going to be like probably just second and third, or first, second, third, or maybe it is all the way to fourth, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. Shifters in, circlips in there, ready to rip. Got the Yashio factory uh, 
shift knob on there. You can pretty much get them to work. Uh, the five-speed ones work on a lot of Nissan um, uh, transmissions, which is, I think, the Z transmission one I think it'll work on, as well as the RB one. Just goes straight on. Um, but the six-speed one's obviously different. But yeah, that aside, the shifter in. The next thing I'm dying to know is if this uh, tail shaft I ordered that came in from the States is gonna even fit this because I couldn't find anywhere that this was gonna work. And I think this is meant for a S13. So I'm just hoping it's gonna work. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Moment of truth if this is gonna be the right length or not. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's gonna need to be longer. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, I messed up, guys. I messed up, lads. This ain't gonna work at all. My measurements are way off, guys. Huh. This propeller shaft just ain't gonna work. Bummer. I just wanna see by how, oh wow. Yeah, okay, well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to get one custom made. It's not the end of the world. But at least the transmission is now in the car and I can figure out the correct measurements and get one custom made and shipped out. I guess now I just have a spare one of these that'll work with an RB and an S chassis. Um, hmm. That might actually come in handy one day if we do that. But yeah, I'm a little bummed. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. The last thing I just want to check is if the starter motor is engaging and if this thing's going to start at all. So I want to actually crank this thing once just to make sure that it will run. I am not sure if I need to get a manual starter or anything like that or if they're the same. I'm assuming they're the same though. Um, I just kind of connected the inhibitor pins there with the pliers. We'll let that sit there and we'll just see if we can get any kind of cranks out of this if it'll start or anything. Um, just so I know that we don't have any issues there with the starter. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Oh, that was my silencer. Sounds like it's fine. Sounds like it's good. Love that. I put that in there to keep it quiet if, um, when I was doing uh, the idling stuff with the cooling and the fan testing. Let's see if it'll run again. Starts first thing, no problem. The clutch sounds so good. Yeah, no problem at all. I think that starter's good. Um, for those wondering, you do need to um, connect these two wires together. So I'm gonna snip those and just kinda duct tape those two together and she should be mint. Actually, I'm gonna check if the harness that I ordered from Wiring Specialties actually comes with something that plugs into that. There's a high chance it does and that way I don't have to cut, join and do anything there. But we're mint, I think we're good. I'm hyped about that. I'll get my tail shaft and propeller shaft ordered tonight. Hopefully we'll get the right one very, very soon. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And then uh, I think we're in business. I'm so excited to drive this thing with a manual transmission. Man, we do need to do a bit more wiring stuff in here too because of the old automatic stuff. But pretty much we can cut all that out I think now because mainly we just kind of do the stuff that I was just talking about here and I think it'll be fine. And we are moving to a link ECU, so now that really matters anyways. We don't need to even worry about this anymore. I think it's gonna be cool to have some kind of cool intake on this. Maybe bring a pipe like over here and it'll be mint. But yeah, for now, we're good. We still got a lot of work to get done. We got a new radiator, new intercooler. We got to do new engine mounts and a ton of other stuff, but everything's coming together nicely. And I'm really excited to get to the end of this project so that we can throw this thing on the dyno and actually tune it and see what kind of reliable power we can make out of this. There's a lot banking on this. And I think a lot of people are interested in it. And I'm really excited to have Jimmy help me tune it as well. Cause then we can kind of like experiment together and see where the breaking point is on this thing. Remember how I said before I should check in the wiring specialties box? Well, they included it. Exactly what I needed. Look at that. Let's see if it goes right on there. Perfect. Now we're in business. We don't even have to do any uh, splicing, cutting or anything there. That's just ready and that can go chill under the fuse box. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Shop, bro. 
Sam it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs>